Hey everybody, this is Jason with Outdoor Adventures, and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to look at the Z-Pax Arc Haul Backpack. After about 400 miles with this thing, I think I'm finally ready to give my review on it. But before we dive into the review aspect of this video, I'd like to give you some information on people that are coming from one of your major manufacturer backpack brands, you know, like Osprey or Gregory, etc, etc. Let's go over the features. Let's take a look at the craftsmanship, and let's look at some of the accessories that you can get here, and then I'll go into my review. Now, this is all going to be relevant, so if you're looking at purchasing this pack, stick with me, and we're going to dive into this in depth. Now, first of all, like I said, it's a 62 liter pack. It features two and a half liters on the side pockets and an eight liter mesh pocket, as well as the main compartment, which is 49 liters, bringing it up to 62 liters. Now, one of the main features about this pack compared to someone coming from a major backpacking manufacturer like I said before is it's not going to have the lid the brain the extra top of the pack that acts as you know a water resistant barrier or extra organization or whatever you're using it for now me personally I came from an Osprey Exos 48 and deciding to go with an ultralight pack like ULA or Z packs or you know any of the other packs that are out there, most of these ultralight packs don't have that extra compartment at the top. Now I was a little worried about that, like I said, coming from an Exos, but after a couple trips of this, I totally got over that. I figured out my organization. I think this is a lot easier. So if you're worried about that, don't. You will adjust. Um, let's talk about that part right now. So the way this works is if you're familiar with just a regular dry bag, it has a roll top enclosure and what you do is you just roll it down just like a dry bag and then it'll clip in the back just like that. That provides a little bit more water resistance so the water doesn't fall down your pack. Uh, it doesn't have a drawstring enclosure like um, like you know Osprey or ULA Ohm but I really like this feature. It just gives me that peace of mind that no water is really going to seep down into this pack as long as this top part is closed. Um, the mesh is very, very stretchy. It seems very, very durable. I haven't had any punctures, tears, or abrasions to this thing, and I searched this pack up and down before giving the review of this on this video. The tension system on this pack is done spot on, and I don't think they could have designed it any better. I've experienced no slippage whatsoever, and it really does lock that pack down. Let's go back to the main part of the lid we'll call it the top part of the pack you do have this extra compression strap up here too and there's a clip right above the mesh so again if you have some less volume in your pack you can really lock that down and I haven't had any problems with that moving at all on the bottom of the pack there they offer the same kind of tension system as they do on the side this is for your sleeping pad you can easily put a sleeping pad in here I actually might remove this just because I will never probably never use a sleeping pad that needs to go on the outside of my pack but the tension system is here as well for you if you need to do that or you can strap a tent or extra water or whatever you need to do with these little loops I myself have never found a need to use them now for the people that like to use smart water bottles or water bottles in general for their hydration means you can easily fit two at least two smart water bottles in here plus maybe a third smaller bottle. You see you have a little extra room in this two and a half liter pocket on the side. And this is great. On top of that, they did a really good job with the shock cord system locking that bottle down. So as long as, you know, as long as the pack's not totally upside down, that, that bottle isn't going anywhere, it's not falling out. So if you lean over, your bottles aren't gonna slip out. So that's very good. One of my favorite features about this pack is Let's lock these back is this system right here this is the arc suspension system it's very similar to the if you're familiar with Osprey Exos and I'm just gonna be talking about that and referring to that a lot because like I said that's the backpack that I came from personally to this but this acts as that airspeed suspension now it's a little bit different of the design the this suspension is completely adjustable so say you don't want all that arc in your system there's these two little straps up here and you just kind of flip it up and you can adjust the tightness of that suspension and that also loses the arc for you. Now I like to keep that down 
pretty good. Now what I do to make sure that that suspension is perfect for me after several tests and several adjustments, I found that if I take these four fingers right here and I put it in the middle of the pack, my forefinger just barely touches the mesh. And I do that on both sides and that seems to be the perfect arc for me. So this is how I like my arc. Now what this arc is supposed to do, it's supposed to provide ventilation for your back. Say you're on a long hike, say you're sweating, it's hot outside, it's humid. That provides you some airflow and I think it provides you some extra comfort. Say you have some sharper things or some more blunt things in your pack that are pressing up against your back. That kind of alleviates that issue, which is what I like. I have a whole bunch of back problems with other packs and you know, Osprey and this suspension right here, they do a great job. I hope that they always do this. I hope they never get rid of this and it's been a great system. Another favorite feature from this pack is its two-way belt adjustment. So not only do you have the belt that locks around your hip down here, and we'll get into this when I put the pack on, but you also have above your iliac crest which is fantastic to really lock that load down and transfer most of the weight to your hips, which is what you want. So that's on both sides and it works out great. Speaking of transferring weight to your hips, the hip belt on this thing is incredibly comfortable. I have noticed no hip pain, no back pain with this pack. It's absolutely amazing. And just, I think it's way more comfortable than anything I've ever had on. Now my base weight for this pack is usually under 10 pounds. I've had a little more, probably up to a 15 pound base weight when I first started with this pack. Uh, but e even with that extra weight or that little of weight, it really does a good job at transferring the load to your hips. So love this. If it's uncomfortable for you, they also make extra lumbar supports and they also make some extra shoulder pad supports which are additional cost, they're just additional accessories that you can buy from Z-Packs. But just with my experience with this pack, it's not really necessary unless you're really having problems. So, now that we talked about the standard features of the pack, let's get into the optional features that I ended up going with, and I think this is how most people are going to set their pack up. Now, hip belt pockets, these are optional. You'd think that they would come with it, but a lot of ultralighters don't like the hip belt pockets. I, for one, because I film for YouTube, I end up putting my camera gear in here most of the times, and I really like to carry snacks in these pockets. No problem for a cell phone or a camera or whatever you want to put in here. Like I said, I like to put my snacks in here and my camera gear, and I ended up getting two of these. So I have a lighter in there still. And the cool thing about this is they're removable, so if you ever don't want these, you can just... Uh, you can take them off very, very easily. It's just this little uh, piece of elastic and then they lock down with some shock cord and cord locks on the sides of the pack. The Z-Packs does have a sizing guide on their website, so make sure you pay close attention to that. You don't want to buy the pack and have it be the wrong size. If you're unsure of where you are and you've done all your measurements, just go ahead and email Z-Packs. They'll be happy to get back to you and help you out and tell you where you should actually be. And that's what I ended up doing. I think this is a small, they said it was perfect for me, and I've had no problems with sizing on this. They have a really good a little conveyor belt system. It takes a little getting used to, um, but after you get the size down, you shouldn't have to adjust it really ever. So what you do is you kind of have this little conveyor belt, and you kind of raise it up and down with however you need to size it on your shoulders. And then they have different hip belts, so make sure you pay attention to the sizing guide. Coming down the shoulder straps, there's this little daisy chain pretty much the whole way down the shoulder strap where you can take your sternum strap off and you can adjust it to wherever you feel is the best fit for you. I really like the strap system on here. They've done a great job. It definitely locks down perfect for me. Now some of the packs that I've tried on, I just could never get it tight enough on my around my chest, but these guys have a two-way adjustment. So not only can you adjust it this way, but you can also adjust it from underneath if you need to make it just a little bit shorter. And I found that, though it's a very, very minor adjustment, it really, really dials that down across your chest. Now I have the pack laid out here so we can take a look at some of the craftsmanship on this pack because I was honestly surprised at how well this was put together. 
Uh, the stitching is great. The material's great. Uh, all the load lifters and buckles seem very, very high quality. I have no real problems with the, uh, the cord that locks the pack down on either side. Now not only did they do a great job at the, on the outside of the pack and just making everything real nice and locked down, but I was really surprised when I opened the pack and I just saw how much time they spent taping and seam sealing and you know the stitching and how well everything was done in here. And this is just, I mean even at the bottom, every little stitch has been covered with waterproof tape okay and that was that's amazing especially on your back so you're not gonna get a lot of water absorption in the back from your sweat or anything like that and it is just I can't tell you guys how enough of the quality is here I feel like this pack will last a very 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 long time now I've taken the arc out of here just to kind of show you guys a flat view of this let me get everything out of the way and you can see how this mesh can really really dry out your back if it is arced up like that. This rides really tight on your back and it's very very comfortable like I mentioned before. I've been able to do a two week trip with this getting resupplies every three or four days but I don't see any problem why anybody couldn't put six days of food in here and still have ample room for their gear as long as they've kind of lowered their volume of their gear beforehand. And that's what this pack is really meant to do. It's meant for those people that are close to being or at least have the mindset of going lightweight. Now I did want to point out that the roll top enclosure does have some velcro around it and I have noticed this velcro kind of wearing out over time but it's still going strong like I said the better part of this year and about 400 or so miles on this thing and I don't think it's going to affect anything in fact I know it's not going to affect anything but I did just want to make you guys aware of that if you're noticing that issue it's not really a big issue and it still closes fine and you know what in all honesty if I just choose not to even line that up so it's not even using the velcro right now and I just roll it down it's still serving the same purpose okay it's not going to affect the performance of the pack at all it's just a little extra thing that Z packs threw in a lot of people complain about it I don't know why it's not affecting anything so just want to get that out of the way right now anyway let's load this up with some gear and put the pack on Okay, like I mentioned, the hip belts have two-way adjustability, not only for your waist, but for right above your iliac crest. So what I do is I lock the bottom ones down first, and then I just tighten it up, and that really provides a good weight transfer to your hips. And that is perfect for me. So do a little 360, you guys can see that the suspension is that mesh, that mesh back panel is riding up against my back, and you can see that there's still some airflow here to get that sweat to give you some cold air on your back. So very very comfortable pack. Get the load lifters here. Okay. Now one of the features I was talking about were those trekking pole uh, holders, I guess you'd call them. So here's trekking poles. What you'll do is there's a little piece of shock cord right behind the hip belt pocket right here and you'll put your bottom of your trekking poles there and then there's another one on your shoulder strap and the tops of the poles go there you lock it down with this little shock cord right here and you can see they are out of the way can move my arms and they don't get in the way at all with anything that I'm trying to do when I want the trekking poles again I can just take it out of that shock cord take it out from behind here and I can deploy my tracking poles very fast. I really like that feature, and it literally adds no weight at all. So I thought I would add it. Now, hip belt pockets, let's talk about the capacity. So I have a headlamp, a camera, a Sawyer squeeze bag. That'll all go right into that pocket. Okay. Now, one complaint about this pack, and it does come with the hip belt pockets, so you can see this is a little hard to get to. So you can do it from the front like that, but when you want to open it, you really got to stretch to get that line. 
I would suggest adding bigger lines here. I know I made a little bit longer ones, but you can get to it. It's just a very, very minor annoyance. I don't think it affects performance at all, but you can see how much stuff actually fits in that pack. What I like to do is to put my snacks in one, and my camera gear in the other, maybe a water filter or whatever, and just kind of munch out of that you know, Ziploc bag or whatever I'm using while I'm walking on the trail, and that works out fantastic. I really like being able to have these big hip belt pockets to be able to snack all day. Now I do want to show you how much stuff you can actually put in this mesh, okay? So Because I know a lot of people store a lot of stuff that they don't mind getting wet on the outside of their pack, same as me. So this is a Costco quilt. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with this thing. But let's just start stuffing it in here. Now obviously, I'm not using the bag because I'm just trying to fill it up with stuff. Okay, so we got the whole Costco quilt in there. Here's my 11 foot hammock gear Cuban fiber tarp. Well, normally I would roll this stuff up and obviously wouldn't be putting a quilt on the outside of my pack, but you get the idea. And you can see Costco quilt and a hammock gear Cuban fiber tarp is in the pack. And I still have some extra room at the top. Now what I like to put on the outside is my rain gear, water filter stuff, Cuban fiber tarp, and it, it, it does a great job. I, I think if something were to break on this pack, it would probably be the mesh. But like I said before, it's a very, very strong mesh. So as long as you're careful with it and you treat this like an ultralight pack, you're not going to have any problems with this. Okay, now that we got all the features out of the way, let's start talking about the review, finally. Okay, here it comes, guys. This is a great pack, okay? It is very, very water resistant. With the seam taping in here and the stitching, I mean, everything about this is meticulously gone over by Z Packs, and they did a great job with this pack. Now, it is not waterproof. And the only way that I was able to find that out is on my Superior Hiking Trail video, it rained an entire day. After an entire day of rain, the inside of the pack was a bit damp. That's all it was. It was just damp, but I do want to make you aware that this is not a waterproof pack. z Packs even states that it is water resistant. So for short rain bursts, you're not going to have to worry. For maybe an hour or two of light rain, you're not going to have to worry, but I still recommend that you carry a trash compactor bag inside the pack. Uh, z Packs also makes a Cuban fiber pack liner that weighs just a little bit less. We're talking grams here lighter than a trash compactor bag, and that's what I opted for. Now, I'm not paid to give this review. z Packs doesn't care if I give it a bad or a good review. This is just the pack that I've been using this year, and I find it very, very nice. An issue I had with this pack, actually it was a big issue, it was very annoying. Sometimes, especially when these are wet, when the webbing is wet, this is the webbing. So, sometimes these would get twisted, and the only way that I could figure out how to untwist it would be to completely take this out of the out of the clips, out of the buckles, and rerun it to fix the tangle issue. Now, I emailed Z-Packs about it when I got home from the Spear Hiking Trail, and they offered a solution. In fact, it was above and beyond the solution that I thought they would offer, but they ended up not only replacing every single piece of webbing on here, but they also gave me a brand new mesh back panel, uh, which I was also having issues with it tangling me. It wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, I sent them some pictures, they apologized, they said they had a recent manufacturer uh, issue where the, the vendor that they used to make the, the webbing, the straps, they actually sent the wrong straps. It was a lower denier and it wasn't stitched right. So I'm just going to show you the two stitching. I'll, actually, I'll show you the mesh back panel because you can really see it in there. But they sent me just a bag of everything that I needed to replace all the webbing. and It was very easy to replace. Uh, I didn't even need instructions to do it. And they also sent me a couple of extra clips if I decided to, that I wanted to sew on some of the things that I wasn't having a problem with. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, I wasn't having any problems with the shoulder straps at all, so those are going to stay. But they did send me extra parts just in case. But let's zoom in on this webbing and we'll take a look at the differences between what the manufacturers were sending them versus how they're stitching their webbing now. This is what I want you to pay attention to right here. 
the stitching. So you can see these horizontal stitches running down the length of the webbing. Now here's the here's the old webbing right next to it. Let's see if I can do that. So you guys cannot see there are no stitches or sewing or whatever they did to do this. There's no stitching down the webbing and that was causing it to easily just kind of twist up here like that. Okay. And I have not had any problems with this new webbing whatsoever. I think they have fixed their manufacturing issue and I really I recommend this. Now, however, if you are having issues, just go ahead and email them. I purchased this pack back in February of 2017, I believe. So if you're in that same time period as me and you're having the issues and you don't see this these horizontal stitch marks like I told you, then you might be able to contact Z-Packs and get the replacement like I did. It's free of charge and it does address a ton of those issues. I haven't had one issue with this uh, tangling on me or twisting up. So just wanted to point that out and they did a great job at fixing the error. So guys, final thoughts on this. I'm really, really liking every single thing about the pack, especially since they replaced the webbing for me. I've had absolutely no issues about this. I think it's a great brand. I think the quality is fantastic. The customer support is phenomenal. And you get that with a lot of cottage vendors, but Z-Pack seems to go above and beyond the normal customer service that I've been used to with cottage vendors. Everything is very comfortable. Shoulder straps are great. The padding is great. The hip belt is fantastic. The adjustments are incredible. The water bottle pockets, the fact that they're angled and you can easily get water bottles out of here without taking the pack off, fantastic. I love the accessories that they offer. Even if you don't use them, take a look at them. You might find a use for them, but I didn't want to add too much weight to the pack, which is why I only settled on the accessories that I've shown you today. And I think for the most part, this is probably how you're going to set up your pack anyway, unless you need some extra custom things. And the only thing bad I could possibly even say about this pack is the hip belt pouches. I just wish that they would try to figure out a way, and I don't even know what they would do. Maybe they would put another piece connecting this to the back, but I don't know, that's going to add a little bit more weight. But I'd really like to open these with one hand instead of pinching it and holding it. But like I said, not a big deal. Very, very minor, minor annoyance. So if anybody has any questions about the Z-Packs arc haul, feel free to comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can about my personal experience with this. And if you have some specific questions about the pack and the sizing for your body, don't hesitate to ask Z-Packs. They'll be glad to help you. They're all a bunch of good guys over there, and they do a great job with their company. So guys, Z-Packs Arc Hall, I absolutely love it. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the trail.